hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how i created this nice game night flyer in coral drop yes the coral drop with easy and few steps just like i've used in previous times and you're able to also follow through so without having to waste much of your time let's get started So the first thing I like to do is um, I'll give this a name, Game Night Flyer, yeah, like this. Make sure your primary color mode is set to RGB and um, your width and height is set to a 5x5 inches please and resolution stays at 300. When you've done all of this, just click on OK. Okay, so um, for those that are always complaining that they don't have they cannot double click and make that um, rectangle stick just do it manual way and when you're done just press p on your keyboard or better still just double click on the rectangle right great so um the first thing i like to do is i would like to use my color code so for the background this is the color code i'm going to be using so i'm just going to double click on this paint pocket click on this part here and make sure it's on color viewer i'm just going to paste my color code that i used ctrl v to paste that and click ok right good um this is my color code right so you can copy that too So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create, um, draw a rectangle like this, draw a rectangle like this, and I'm going to give it a color, right? So the color I'm going to be applying is, let me see, okay, this is the color, right? So I'm just going to click on it, make it bigger first. Like this okay so I'm also going to make duplicate copies of the same shape so I'm just going to use ctrl C and ctrl V to make um, three copies of two extra copies I meant of this and I'm just going to maintain the spaces in between like this and I'm going to select everything and skew it up like this right great okay so with that done i'm just going to move this aside and i'll remove the outline for everything like that all right so um the next thing i want to do is i want to uh, create something else inside of this rectangle all right so what i would i'll remove the outline for this too all right so i'll go over to my resource file and bring in the next um resource which is this image so i'm just going to drag and drop inside like this and position this so with my shape tool i want to get rid of this top area so i'll just remove this top area like this and position this well and also make duplicate copy of this so with this first one what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to transparency and click on overlay right i'm going to select this first one here and i'm going to increase the transparency like this so that the effect is sub to as you can see right great okay so with this done i'm going to pack it inside of a rectangle like this just the way it is like this right and i'm going to select all of this and i'm going to put it at the middle of the page like this great i'm going to put it down like this and I think I like the position it is. I'm gonna make a duplicate copy of this. Ctrl C, Ctrl D. With the duplicate copy, I'm gonna weld it all like this. And I'm going to apply some transparency to it. But this time, I'm going to add VV screen. No screen. I'm going to go to blur and I'm going to go to Gaussian blur. 
I'm just going to increase my value like this and click OK. With my selection tool, I'm going to place it inside so I see the kind of nice effect it has created for me. Alright, go to my transparency and I think this is fine. Let me just blow this out some more. So I'm working on Gaussian blow. So I'll just increase the size of the blow so that the lighting effect looks more realistic. Just like this. You can see now, you can see how nice I have this all cut out for myself. Right? So uh, I'm going to select this second uh, recess file I brought in, this pattern like. I'm going to apply this transparency to it like this. Right? So it's going to go from white to black like this. Right? And I'm going to. Um, okay so i'm just going to convert it to bitmap first again and i'm going to position this here on top like this right so what i'll just do is i'm going to um reduce the size a bit so it doesn't co cover the entire page and just so it's above this lighting area where i have this night light light effect so i'll just make it slightly bigger like this and basically that will be all okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to my search file and i'm going to bring in the first one which is this um first model here all i'm going to do is i'm simply dragging and dropping inside like this and um, good make it slightly smaller and I'm just going to get rid of some areas um, with my shape to or trans let me use my transparency so I'm just going to from white to black so I've gotten rid of all these areas I won't be needing them all right so I'm just going to um, Okay, this thing is not trying. To, I'm just gonna bring this up here like this and position this well so I have this nice faded effect like this. Okay, so I'm just going to go next to my second image. I'm gonna drag and drop the same process I did with the first one and yes make it smaller it's quite big also make it smaller like this and there you go uh, slightly make this bigger like this and um, yeah that's it so um, let me just move this up a bit like this So I'm also going to fade this the same way I did with the first image with my transparency tool. So I'm going to fade this out here like this and I would also like to create some extra effect on this part here, right? So what I'm going to do is... Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go over to my SES file and I'm going to bring in this next image here like this. I'm going to re re resize it, make it smaller of course, so you don't have it big and chunky. Right, I'm going to convert it to bitmap. Go back there again, I'm going to do the same thing too. So I'm converting it to bitmap twice just so that we don't get any deformity when we are trying to adjust the size later on
okay so there you have it your game pads are in strategic places i'm just going to do some flipping and some position well and that should be all for that yeah so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create some special effect here some light effect that resembles the one on the left side so what i'm going to do is my pen tool selected i'm going to trace out this part here like this okay so there you go next thing i want to do is i'm going to my ellipse tool and i'm going to give it this lighter color i used before remove that line what i'm basically going to do in this is i'm going to apply transparency to it elliptical transparency what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to use this to create light effect inside of the design so what i'm going to do is i'm going to blur them more like this And when I'm done, I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. So I haven't done this, I'm just going to cut and double click on the rectangle to paste it inside of the power clip area. Alright, so I'm just going to make this bigger like this. okay so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to take all these guys up like this to create extra room at this base point and i'll adjust some of the lighting areas that i already have here just like this just for you to make more sense right so i'm just going to bring this downwards because i have space down I'm going to skew it slightly like this and I'm going to bring it down again extra um, some extra inch All right so guys um, this brings us to the end of our video I hope you were able to learn something valuable in this video 
if you've liked my video and if you like my content please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and turn on my post notifications so you get notified anytime i post a new video thank you